did you get a sense of, of this town that your parents grew up in? What, what were the, you know, all of these people that came through your house after the war too? Well, you know, it's very interesting because this was a typical Galician town in southern Poland. As I said, there were 10,000 people in Chmelnik. But you had uh, Mizrahi, you had the Linke Polizion, uh, the Rechte Polizion, you had Maccabi, you had Beitar, you had a Beis Yaakov school, which in the 20s was a revolutionary thing to have a school for girls. Uh, and there are pictures in, in many of the, um, of the publications. And also, just um, the thing that comes through very strongly in all of this is names. As they're recounting, because so much was lost, you have names. Like um, in one of the issues, there was a very prominent rabbi in Toronto who came from Chamelnik, Rabbi Abraham Price. And he was recounting, he came over before the war, but he was recounting who davened in the different places just so the memory of the people would not be lost. And there was a, a, a great obligation about that. Mm. And, you know, that's what, what I find interesting. Um, so, and, and just what people saw and what people heard, which was largely discounted by the organized community as, as I was growing up, and I think up until very recently. Not too many towns, I think there are about a half a dozen towns that put, um, put out a publication like Het Ha'irgun. But what makes it interesting is all these communities contributed about a thousand dollars to Israel. There was somebody there who was publishing it. So you would get news briefs from Melbourne, Australia, Brazil, Boston, New York, um, Paris, France, Israel, Toronto, Montreal. It was like it was like a global fraternity, you know. And uh, they put in things like Mazel Tov to Faye Goldlist on the birth of a grandchild, you know, and all this. And also sorrowful things and obituaries and of you know of losses. But it was a very um, co cohesive group and uh, you know and there was a sense of obligation not to forget but not to get buried you know the other thing that that came out of it was just the the sheer will of people to move forward to show not as I say not so much material things but we've succeeded We've succeeded in, in overcoming, and, and I just find that very, very interesting.